Meanwhile, the Navajo Nation has authorized over $550 million as a stimulus for its communities during the Omicron surge. Part of the COVID-19 relief passed early in the Biden administration. The Salt Lake Tribune reports that this hardship assistance will be used for individual stimulus payments. And this includes the $16 million in CARES Act money that's being reallocated to support Navajo elders. Well, joining us live this morning now is Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez. President Nez, thank you so much for being with us and good morning. Yes, good morning, John, and good morning, you too. I want to ask you, why is this aid so essential to members in your community? Well, first of all, I just want to uh, say to our elders, thank you so much for taking this uh, pandemic very seriously. 87% uh, of our elders, 65 and over, have been fully vaccinated. So we, we thank them, and you know we have had some uh, additional dollars uh, left over from the $714 million CARES Act allocation. So we wanted to uh, get that money to our elderly so that they can prepare for the winter. And of course, you know, the uh, pandemic is uh, still around. And with the Omicron uh, increase in our communities, you know, we felt like uh, the first allocation of the American Rescue Plan Act uh, would go directly to our people. And that's one fourth of the total uh, ARPA dollars that have been uh, sent to the Navajo Nation at uh, 557 plus million dollars going into the pockets of our Navajo people so that they can prepare. Uh, we don't see an end to this pandemic yet, and we still have a long ways uh, to go, it seems. So uh, this would help prepare our Navajo people for any type of surge. And there is a surge happening here on the Navajo Nation right now, John. So who qualifies for this and how will you get the funds to those people? Well, for the elderly, it's 60, 60 years and over. That's the CARES Act. Uh, and they don't need to reapply. They will automatically get their checks. Now with the American Rescue Plan Act, the 2000 uh, per adult, that's 18 years and over, uh, and then uh, eight, uh, 17 and under will also receive a $600 check. And we spoke about this during the break a few moments ago, President Nez, but uh, compared to when the pandemic began two years ago, how much better off is the Navajo Nation now uh, really because of that vaccine and so many people taking that vaccine? Right. Thanks, John. And, uh, you know, here on the Navajo Nation, Overall, 72% of our Navajo citizens have been fully vaccinated. So with this surge, we've been having uh, high numbers lately, just as we see all across the country. Past five days, we were in the triple digits, daily case counts. But uh, we are not seeing uh, those uh, individuals that have been testing positive end up in the hospital. So that's a good thing. And that shows that the vaccines do work. Today, I'll be in uh, Shiprock, New Mexico for a vaccine event from 12 to three. So we are still pushing and encouraging really our Navajo citizens to get vaccinated. Those that are ending up in the hospital are those unvaccinated individuals. And you hope that leads to kind of a new normal now as the summer approaches? Well, I think the, the new normal is all across the country. I know we all have uh, a stake in this. And if we can, uh, you know, get vaccinated and follow these protocols, uh, I think the country will be better off and we can get back to some normalcy. And, uh, you know, here on the Navajo Nation, it, I hope uh, people see it as a case study or, or an example of how uh, a region can push back on COVID-19. And it starts with uh, following the uh, healthcare protocols, wearing your mask, social distancing, uh, washing your hands with soap and water, hand sanitizer usage, staying at home as much as you can, and of course, getting vaccinated. Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez, thank you so much for being with us here on this Sunday morning.